Welcome back to the channel guys. It is me, AD744. We have our final match day predictions of the Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League, guys. This is a jam-packed video. I'm really looking forward to this, seeing how these predictions pan out, guys. And remember, guys, the last Champions League, the last group stage of all the major competitions. Because next season, we're gonna have to go with the dreadful Swiss format. So hopefully, you know, UEFA decides to change their minds and um everything which i highly doubt but um anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started and yeah like i said guys let's start with the first game which we have in the champions league so we're gonna start with psv versus arsenal it's a dead rubber game it has no meaning whatsoever i'm gonna go for a draw i feel like for me psv is a very underrated team they're really good at home and arsenal feel like i feel like arsenal won't really you know be all that serious about this game so i i, I feel like it's gonna be a draw i'm gonna go with the one one draw just play it safe Next up, it is Lons versus Sevilla. <laughs> Lons, man, I need you to say football. Lons, you have one responsibility, one duty. Just don't lose. Don't lose this game. If you lose this game, Sevilla gets you up. Like, and I am sorry to say this. I love Spanish teams. I root for Spanish teams to do very well. This is one of the rare occasions where I don't want Sevilla to do well. I'm sorry. I don't want them to go to the Europa League. I'm just sick and tired of them in the Europa League. It's very, very annoying. And we know Sevilla crave that competition. So, Lons, man, please do the football justice. I'm going to go with Lons to... You know what? I'm going to say Lons win this 1-0. I'm going to say Lons win this 1-0. I think Lons will just about get the job done at home. And I think they'll do it. Sevilla, for me, man, I don't think they're going to do it. Next up is Salisbury versus Benfica, guys. It's simple. Salzburg, don't lose this game. Even if you lose this game 1-0, you're still going to the Europa League. Benfica have to win this game 3-0. Forget goal difference. Goal difference is really bad. I'm going to say Salzburg get the job done. I think Benfica, for me, they have been dreadful in the Champions League. Absolutely horrendous, and I'm sorry. But Salzburg, I'm, I'm, I can't see them. I can't I can't see Salzburg, Benfica doing it. I think, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. A 1-1 draw for this one. And Benfica will at least have two points in the Champions League. Moving on to Inter versus Sociedad. It's simple, man. For Sociedad to top this group, they just need a draw. A draw will be enough for them to top the group. Inter, on the other hand, have to win this game. Because a draw will not be enough to top the group. And I think Inter will win this game. They're at home for the final match day. And I feel like the San Siro crowd will be up for it. I think um, Inzaghi will not rotate the team. And I think the team will see the best possible Inter team. Um, for this one, although Sociedad are coming off a huge, huge win over uh, Villarreal on the road, and of course Inter did thrash, I think Udinese over the weekend, so it's been interesting, interesting. So I'm gonna go with Inter to win this one, two one. I think they'll just about get the job done, two one. Next up is Union Berlin versus Real Madrid. Union Berlin, of course, they have finally picked up a win. They're finally picked up a win, man. So Union Berlin, man, they're finally coming into this one in good form. They're going against a Real Madrid team that have been pretty resurgent recently. They've been amazing so far in the Champions League. They did draw points though to Real Batista over the weekend. You know what, guys? I think Union Berlin will get a result. But I don't think they're going to win this game. Union Berlin needs to win this game to have Europa League. And if they don't win this game, they're not getting Europa League. So I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. I think this one being in Germany is going to be huge. I'm really hoping, though, Union Berlin can win this game. I want to see Union Berlin in the Europa League. Please. Football gods, please allow that to happen. Next up is Napoli versus Braga. It's simple. For Napoli, as long as they don't lose this game, they will be going through to the next round. Braga, on the other hand, have to win this game away at um, at, at the Naples Stadium. That's going to be a very, very difficult task. It's not an easy task, even though Napoli this season have been very, very off. They haven't been the same as they used to be. You know, I think the departure of Spalletti and Kim and Jay have really affected the team. And I, I'm still going to go with Napoli to get the job done. But, man, it's going to be very unconvincing. I'm going to go with the 1-0 win for Napoli. I think we'll just about scrape through and get the job done. Next up is Copenhagen versus Galatasaray. Huge game, man. Huge, huge game. A lot on the line for both teams here. Both teams have a great opportunity to make the round of 16 for the first time in a, such a long time. This is a huge, monumental chance. A monumental opportunity is here in the making. And, guys... This might surprise a lot of people. I'm actually with Copenhagen. I think Copenhagen, for me, is going to get the job done. I feel like, for me, this team is solid at home. They put some great home displays. And they hardly lose at home ever. And I think they only lost three times, two times since 2006 in the Champions League at home. Which is 
absolutely incredible. Remember, they also got a 2-2 draw away in Galtes, right? And they were 2-0 up. As well as the fact Copenhagen, for me, defensively looked really solid. I think Copenhagen defensively looked very, very solid. I, I Defensively, these guys look very good. So I'm going to go with Copenhagen to narrowly get the win. But I think it'll be very, very close. I'm going to say it's going to be like a 2-1 win for Copenhagen. I think they'll get the job done. Of course, Galatas, right, for me, are going to make things competitive. They're going to put up a good fight. I just think, for me, Galatas, my main issue is that defensively, they're just horrendous. Defensively, they're horrendous. And they miss far too many chances for my liking. Like, liking. And I feel like Copenhagen will be clinical with their chances on the day. Next up is Manchester United versus Bayern Munich. Guys, both teams just got thrashed over the weekend. Manchester United got humbled at home against Bo um, Bournemouth at home. They just got destroyed 3 0. Bayern Munich's coming to 5 1 loss. Davis looked absolutely abysmal, and Masroy looked really bad. I think this will be a very good game. I think this will be a high scoring game, and I don't think this will be a thrashing. A lot of people think Bayern will come into the Old Traver and thrash United. I don't think that's going to happen. I think for me, this will be a high scoring game. This is going to be a high scoring game. We're going to see a lot of goals. I can't see. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to go on the limb and say a two-all draw. And I think this is going to be a good result for Bayern. Of course, Bayern have nothing to play for. They've already topped the group. And as for United, if they draw this game, I think they would finish bottom. Because Galatas are right. They have the better head-to-head, -head, of course. So the group would be Bayern, Copenhagen, Galatas or United. United would finish bottom. So let's see what happens. I, I don't see United winning this game. I, I just don't. I don't see United winning this game, but uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. Next up is Servanus Vesda. Man City, guys, is a dead rubber. It means absolutely nothing. Uh, Servanus Vesda, they cannot get European football, and they will finish bottom of the group. So I'm going to go with Servanus Vesda, nil, and I'm going to go with Man City, two. Two nil, one for Man City on the road. Next up, it is Leipzig versus Young Boys. This game doesn't really mean anything. I'm, gonna just, I'm not going to even analyze this game. I'm going to say a 3 1 for Leipzig. Andro versus Barcelona, guys. Barcelona have to bounce back after that humiliating defeat at home against Girona. Uh, we have to bounce back here. And we really don't even need to win this game. Like, honestly, as long as we don't lose... Like, even if we lose this game, as long as Shakhtar don't win by, like, a crazy scoreline in the other game, we will be guaranteed to top this group. So, really, this game doesn't really have a whole lot of writing for it. I think this will be a high-scoring game. I think Antwerp will give it a really good go. They're at home as well. But I think Barca will just about get the job done. So I'm going to say Barca wins this one. 3-1 on the road against Royal Antwerp. Of course, I'm really hoping Royal Antwerp can get something at this game. You know, especially considering they're at home. You know, um, there's, you know, a lot to play for and everything. Next up is Porto versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Porto. Um, it's simple for Porto. As long as you don't lose this game, you'll be through to the next round. Um, Shakhtar and Lothar have to win this game. Shakhtar have to win this game to have any chance to progress. I'm going to go with Porto to win. I think Porto will get the job done at home against Shakhtar Donetsk. I think Shakhtar, to me, are a good team. It just, I think, for me, they're more of a home type of team. I feel like they're more of a home type of team. And I feel like defensively, these guys look very vulnerable. I wasn't really impressed what they did against Royal Antwerp. They just about held on to the win. And I feel like Royal Antwerp really just, if they had more quality, they could have got a result. Right? So I'm going to go with Porto to win this one 2-1 at home. Next up it is uh, Newcastle versus Milan. I... This game is massive. This game is absolutely critical for both teams here. I cannot stress how important this game is on Wednesday. Because Newcastle, they just need a win. A win would be through to round 16. Even if PSG get a draw in the other game, they'll be through because of head-to-head. -head. Newcastle needs to win this game. I, they cannot draw. They cannot advance with a draw. They need to, they need to win this game. It's gonna be interesting, guys, because Milan they got they got they lost um, against Atalanta three two, and they were down at ten men. Newcastle they also lost to Spurs four one. It's a difficult one to call. It's a really difficult one to call, guys. A really really difficult one to call, guys. Because my thing is that Newcastle for me, I think the loss of um, Nick Pope is gonna really hurt them, right? Because as bad as Milan have been in the Champions League, I feel like for me it's been the injuries, the players, the manager. Everything I just feel like for me with Milan, it's just it's just really looking bad. But the thing is, like I would have, I let me put be honest with you guys. I would have probably said New, 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 Newcastle win this game if Nick Pope played. But I'll be really honest with you guys, Dubraka for me is just a huge downgrade. It's a huge downgrade. With all due respect, I feel like this will be an interesting game, and I'm gonna say it's gonna be a draw. I'm gonna say a one-one draw. Um, I think this will be an interesting game. 
Because I think Newcastle will be the better team. In my opinion, Newcastle will create more chances and create more opportunities. But I just have a feeling that Milan will not do well in the game, but they'll just score some kind of scrappy goal. And I just feel like, for me, the loss of Nick Pope, I think, is going to really hurt Newcastle. So, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I would like to see Newcastle win. Um, I wouldn't be too fussed. You know, obviously, I want Newcastle to win because, you know, we want to see PSG in the Europa League, right? And going into this game, man, Dortmund versus PSG. I'll be really honest with you guys. I still think PSG is going to do it. I think PSG is going to do it because this Dortmund team, for me, I don't trust. I don't trust this team at home. I don't care if their home record is amazing in the Champions League. I don't care whatsoever. And I might get this might age really badly. Uh, some people might clip this part and feel free to do so. But I have a feeling that PSG will get the job done. And believe it or not, I actually think PSG is going to win in Dortmund. I think PSG will win away in Germany. Because for me, Dortmund for me, man, there isn't really much for them to play for. They've already secured the they've already secured round of 16. All they're really doing this game is just trying to secure top spot. And I feel like Dortmund is not going to have the motivation. They're not going to have the motivation, the character, the attitude. And I feel like for me, PSG, there's so much for them to play, be playing for. And even though their away record is abysmal, and trust me, their away record is abysmal, the schedule lays out itself very nicely. Because, trust me, if their final game was at St. James Park or at San Siro, I probably would predict them to, to not win. But because this is away in Germany, and because Dortmund have already secured their spot in the round of 16, I feel like PSG is going to take advantage of that and take advantage against Dortmund. So I think it's going to be a close game. I think there's going to be some controversial moments in this game. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you know, late penalty, maybe red card be given, some late drama. And I have a feeling that what could very well happen in this game is that Dortmund actually take the lead. I think Dortmund could actually take the lead in this game and then PSG do a late comeback. Um to gather the three points so i think this is how it's going to end so i think Dortmund's going to go score first and i think psg will respond with two goals i'm really hope i'm wrong though i want to see psg in the europa league but i just feel like for me you know how they you know how they say guys it's too good to be true it's too good to be true and i just feel like for me we're all thinking it's going to happen it's not going to happen it's not going to happen guys i'm hope i'm wrong though i'm really really hope i'm wrong but i think psg will get the job done two one away in Dortmund, guys in germany Next up, it is Celtic versus Feyenoord. It is a, it's a dead rubber game, honestly. Feyenoord have already secured Europa League. Celtic will finish bottom, so really not a lot to play for. I'm going to say Celtic will just get a point here on the basis they're at home for this game. But really, it doesn't really matter, man. It, it's a dead rubber, so I'm going to say a draw. A draw for that game. Moving on, next is Atletico Madrid versus Lazio. This is a huge game, guys, to, to determine top spot in the group. Atletico Madrid just needs a draw. Lazio just needs, Lazio needs to win this game. I think Atletico Madrid will get the job done. They're at home. They've been amazing at the one in Metropolitano. And I think Morata and Griezmann will come in clutch and score the two goals for Dortmund. Not sorry, for Dortmund, for Atletico Madrid. And I think Atletico Madrid will win 2-0 at home against Lazio. So now we have to play our booster, um, which I'm going to play my booster for. I think I'm going to play my booster for Man City. I think I'm going to play my booster for the Man City game. Or actually, you know what? I think I'm going to play my booster for RB Leipzig. I think I'm going to play my booster for RB Leipzig. I I feel like Leipzig will, um, I'm more confident they'll beat Young Boys than Man City, to be honest, because I think Man City might rotate, and they haven't really been great recently with Man City, to be fair, in the Premier League. Moving on to the Europa League. Europa League time, Europa League time, guys. So, match day six two right here, guys. We have quarterback versus Hakan. Um, This is a huge game for this one, because I think quarterback and Mold are still going for it, for that um, second place spot. So, I think quarterback will get the job done. At home against Haken. Haken have been absolutely abysmal in this competition. I think Horbeck will win this game 1-0 and move on. Um, and then we have Leverkusen versus Mold, guys. I think Leverkusen will win this game 2-1 against Mold. Leverkusen just looks unbelievable. And I think Leverkusen will get the job done. Next up is Slavia Praha versus Servet. I'm going to go with Slavia Praha to win this game 2-0 against Servet. Uh, the Roma versus Sheriff. Roma needs to win this. And they need Roma needs to hope that... Um, Slavia Prague drops points because otherwise Rommel will finish second in the group. Then Panait the Kainos versus Mikeva Haifa. Um, I think this will be a very interesting game. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think um I think Panait the I think Mikeva Haifa is third in the group. Uh, yeah, I think Mikeva Haifa. No, no, sorry, Panait the Kainos I think is third in the group. Uh, let me actually uh quickly double check the standings for you guys. I should have probably already checked anyway. So U E L standings. Let me just check that real quick. Uh, yeah, so as you can see right here, guys, I need, I, I should have probably checked the stains. Honestly, I kind of forgot. I remember the Champions League top of my head, so Group H. 
Okay, so Roma. Okay, so yeah, so this one. So yep, yeah, my Kaiba hyphen needs to win this game. Panata Kainos just needs a draw. I'm gonna say this one ends in a draw though. I think this one ends in a draw, and I think they'll get it. So yeah, and then Rans versus Vila Real. It's a huge game, guys. Uh, Vila Real drop points to my Kaiba hyphen on match day five. They did the makeup game last week, and I feel like for me, Rans will get the job done. They're at home for this game, and I think that'll be enough for them to do it. Villarreal for me have been abysmal recently. They haven't been great recently, and I think Villarreal will get that single play spot. We have LAS game versus Toulouse. It's a huge, huge game, guys. Obviously, as you guys can see right here, guys. Union SG versus Toulouse. And the last time the two teams, two teams, two teams played Toulouse won one nil. So basically, Union have to win this game. Union really not sorry, not Union. Union's playing against Liverpool. Sorry, my bad. LASK they're gonna finish bottom in the group. So Toulouse. Everything to play for, and I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a draw though because it's a way, and I don't think Toulouse have what it takes to win away, but a draw will be enough for them. Then Union SG versus Liverpool, I think this will be a draw as well, but I think Toulouse will be um the more I'd, they'll you know go through. So I think Liverpool will rotate for this game. They have a big clash over the weekend against Manchester United, so I'm sure they're not gonna um really prioritize this game because they already topped the group. They already. Have top the group indeed, so there's nothing to really play for for them. Then next one is Rocco versus Atalanta. Uh, looking into this group right here, as you guys can see right here, guys, Atalanta is top of the group with 11 points, uh, and they've already secured round of 16, and they have top of the group, so really this doesn't really mean anything for Atalanta. And for Rocco, this is huge. Rocco, this is huge, man. They need to win this game to have any chance to get Conference League. I think, you know what? I think it's going to be a draw. I think it's going to be a draw. I think uh, Atalanta will draw points here. And I think Rocco will pick up a crucial point. That could be enough for them to progress. Then we have Sporting versus Sturm Graz. Uh, Sporting have also secured their spot in the next stage. And Sturm Graz are going to try to get a result here to um, obviously get um, that Conference League spot. So I think Sporting, I think this will be another draw, meaning that um, it's going to be finishing. So I think Sturm Graz will actually advance because they have the better goal difference um, on that one regard. Um, so yeah, and then we have Eris Lemazo versus Spar Prague. This is a huge, huge game, guys. Uh, looking into this group, Real Betis have, I believe, no, they actually haven't secured yet. Spar Prague are in this Eris Lemazo. So Spar Prague needs to get a result here, guys. Um, I'm going to say it ends in a draw. I think Eris Lemazo is good at home, and I think they'll get a point here, and I think they'll be that could be really, really bad for Spar Prague. Then we have next is Real Betis versus Rangers. Um, this is a battle for top spot, guys. Uh, Real Batiste is currently first in group. Rangers is second place with um, eight points. So Ra if Real Batiste wins this game, they officially top the group. If Rangers win this game, they top. And if it ends in a draw, I think Rangers will actually top. No, no, no. No, no, no. Real Batiste would top. Yeah, Real Batiste would top because they're one point ahead. So I'm going to say Real Batiste do win this game, though. I think Real Batiste will win this game 2-1 at home. And I think they'll get the job done. They'll get the job done. Moving on, we have Right to Marseille, man. I put this one at the thumbnail, man. It's a game I'm going to be definitely looking forward to. I'll try to see if I can watch this game on Thursday. And I think it's going to be a very interesting game, guys. Brighton, of course, they need to win this game. And I think Marseille just needs a draw. I think Marseille needs a draw at top of the group. Yeah, yeah, Marseille just needs a draw. And I think, you know what? I'm going to go Brighton. I think I'm going to go Brighton to win this thriller at home. I don't really trust Marseille, especially on the road. Defensively, they don't look great. So I'm going to say Brighton wins this one 3-2. 3-2 win for Brighton at home. Next up is Ajax versus AK Athens. Ajax needs to win this game. If Ajax wins this game, they're going to be through to Conference League. AK Athens needs a draw. And I'm going to say this ends in a draw. I'm going to say this ends in a draw uh, for this one. And I Athens will actually get the Europa League in day, Conference League in day. Ajax would actually finish bottom if that happens. Next up is Olympiakos with TSC Baka Topola. Uh, Olympiakos. Um, they, yeah, Olympiacos is over for them. So I think Olympiacos will get the job done, though. TSC Baca, they technically still do have a chance to top the group, but they would have to, uh, not top the group, sorry, get third place in the group, but they would have to win away, which I think is going to be a very difficult task, and I think T Olympiacos will get the job done. I think Olympiacos will get the job done 1-0 at home. Next up is West Ham versus Freiburg. Um, this is a huge game, guys. The battle for top spot in the group. West Ham did win the reverse fixture away in Germany. Freiburg needs to get revenge, and West Ham can progress with a draw. I'm going to say West Ham, though. They're going to win this game. And I'm saying they're going to win this one 2-0 this time around. And for my booster, guys, my booster. Um, I'm going to play my booster for Roma Sheriff. I'm pretty confident that Roma's going to beat Sheriff. I'm pretty confident. Roma, you better beat Sheriff at home. You better beat Sheriff at home, I'm just saying. Moving on to the Conference League. Conference League right here, guys. Let me actually pull up the 
conference like standings um right here guys so we have Farron Bache versus Sparta Trinaval so Farron Bache um there I think Sparta Trinaval have already eliminated they have nothing to play for yet they already have nothing to play Farron Bache should be able to win this game and I think they'll do it I think they'll do it I'm gonna say they win this one 2-0 at home against Sparta Trinaval next up is Ludogratz versus Norchalon Ludogratz man this is a huge opportunity for them Ludogratz just needs a draw in this game uh to advance well actually no Ludogratz is playing against Norgeland. Norgeland are on 10 points, so this is interesting, man. But if Ludogratz win this one, they're in a good position. And we're in Norgeland, destroy them. So if it comes down to level on points, Norgeland will have a better head-to-head. -head. But I think Ludogratz will win this one because they're at home, and that will actually send Norgeland out. So Ludogratz, I think Ferenbachi would top the group. Yeah, Ferenbachi would top the group at 12 points. Ludogratz would come in second place with 12. But actually, who's the better head-to-head -head between Ludogratz and Ferenbachi? I think Ferenbachi have the better head-to-head. -head. Yeah, I think Ferenbache do. No, actually, no. Ludogretz are in a better head to head. So Ludogretz would actually top the group then in that case. Wow. Ferenbache would actually come in second place. That would be interesting if my predictions come to fruition. So they would need to have that happen. Then next is Aberdeen versus Frankfurt. Frankfurt would come in second place. I think they have already, yeah, Frankfurt can no longer uh, top the group. So I think Frankfurt will get the job done, though, and I think they'll win away in Aberdeen. I think they'll win this one maybe like 2 0, I'll say, on the road. The next step is Pock versus AJK. Pock have already topped the group. AJK, there's nothing to really play for. I think Pock will still win this, so AJK is not really good at home. Uh, AJK is really not that great away, so yeah, I think they're going to do this. Next step is Ferenc Vars versus Fiorentina. I believe Ferenc Vars have to win this game, right? Yeah, Ferenc Vars have to win this game at home against Fiorentina. Fiorentina just needs a draw. And I'm going to say this one ends in a draw as well. I'm going to say this one ends in a 1 1 draw. A 1 1 draw for that one, guys, which would mean Fiorentina would still top. Then we have Gank versus Kukurachi. Um, Gank really needs to hope that Kukurachi and Ferenc Vars lose that game. And Gank, if Gank wins, they're in a good position. So I'm going to say Gank get their job done. But I don't think it will be enough for them to progress. Because I think Ferenc Vars are going to draw against Fiorentina at home. Next up is Zerniski versus Aston Villa. Uh, for this game, guys, obviously Zerniski are out. They can no longer qualify. Aston Villa have already qualified. They're just going to try to go for top spot. Why do I keep clicking this tab? And I think Aston Villa will get the job done. I think they'll win this one 1-0 one on the road. I think we have a very scrappy 1-0 win on at home. Legere Warsaw versus AZ Alkmaar. This is a huge one, man. Um, AZ Alkmaar needs to win this game. And if they win this game, they will go above Legere Warsaw. So I'm going to say this one ends in a... Hmm. That's a tricky one. Tricky, tricky one. I'm going to go with AZ Alkmaar. I think they'll get this one done. 1-0 on the road, but I'm really hoping that Jay Warsaw prove me wrong because I think they're a very fantastic team, very underrated team. The man next is Lugano versus Big Sheik Dust, guys. Big Sheik Dust is absolutely garbage. I'm sorry. They have been absolutely horrendous this season at the Conference League, and I'm going to go with Lugano to win this one. I'm going to go with Lugano to win this one. Big Sheik Dust has been absolute garbage, so I'm going to say Lugano wins this one 1-0 at home. And remember, Lugano did win the reverse fixture away in Turkey after coming from behind, of course. Next up is Club Rouge versus Bodo Glimp. Club Rouge should be winning this game at home. Bodo Glimp is not that great on the road. And I expect Bodo Club Rouge to win this one 2 0 at home, which would, I think, mean they would top the group and Bodo Glimp would finish the second place. Next up is Balkani versus uh, Dinamo Zagreb versus Balkani. I think Dinamo Zagreb will get revenge and beat Balkani 1 0. But will that be enough for them to progress? I think it should be enough. I think it should be enough. Yeah, let's just go through the groups real quick. Yeah, it's going to be enough. It's going to be enough for them to progress. And then next up it is. Um, when I keep clicking this tab, Victoria Pleasant versus Astana. I think Victoria Pleasant, they've already topped the group, so there's nothing to really play for for them. Astana, on the other hand, are trying to get that spot. And I think Victoria Pleasant, I think Astana will get a result, but it won't be enough because I think Dinamo Zaga will win their game. And next up is Erna and Lenisk versus Bressel Big. This is a huge, huge game, guys. I'm really looking forward to see how this one pans out. And I think I'm going to go with, for this one, is Zora Lenisk. I think Zora Lenisk will win this one. 2-1 at home against Bresselbeck. Next up is Makeva Tel Aviv versus Ghent. This is a huge, huge game, guys. Both teams already progressed to the knockout stage. It's a matter of who's going to get that top spot, though, in the group. Ghent's on 13, Makeva Tel Aviv on 12. And I'm going to say this one ends in a draw. I'm going to say this one ends in a draw, which would actually benefit Ghent. And this one, Makeva Tel Aviv needs to win this one. I feel like for me... Uh, again, we'll put up a good showing, and I think Makiba Tel Aviv um, will get a good result. But it won't be enough for them to top the group, though. 
Leo versus K, class fit. I think Leo should be winning this game 1 2 0 at home. I think they'll get the job done. Then we have Slovian Batisave versus Olymp Olympia Lubana. I think Slovian Batisave win this one. Um, I'm going to say this win this one 2 0 at home. So those are my predictions for match day six. I hope you guys did enjoy this really long video. If you made it this far, please let me know in the comments below. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Kind of let your thoughts come to below. And remember, guys, to join the links in the description below to the various leagues if you guys want to participate, of course. And actually, before we before I round off, guys, let's actually look at how I'm doing the respective leagues, man. I just want to look at this real quick. So as you can see right here, guys, in the 87 for four league, um, right now I'm currently 10th, which is actually pretty nice, 221 points. Uh, then in the Europa League, where am I ranked? I just want to show you guys real quickly. I am currently ranked third in my league. Uh, then in the Conference League, where am I ranked? Um, Conference League, I am ranked sixth in my league. So that is interesting there. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember guys to like and subscribe, of course. I got my other platforms in the description below. Um, and yeah, make sure to become a member to get access to members' videos, members' streams. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.